KTN News. Get the whole story. Healthy seedling, given the right conditions, is likely to give farmers a bumper harvest. But what does it take to attain a healthy seedling? That is why on today's episode of Youth in Agriculture, we get to learn all about seed propagation with Agitech seedlings. But before we get right to it, we will first visit one of their shops in Moya. Uh, the shop is called Mazauna Afia, and this is a shop where they distribute farm inputs to farmers. It's actually the source of this propagation unit, as there was a need for farmers to have their seeds propagated. When I was a tiny child, and it was started by my parents, we have grown to what we are today, not just an agrovet where we sell to farmers directly, but we do distribution across the greater <laughs> Mount Kenya region, if I should say so myself. Um, we also have branches that are in Light Talk Talk. One in Malindi, we have another one in Bura, and another one in Reiro. But this is now the main branch. This is where it all began. We've been business for the past 25 years. And as we grew, we realized that there were gaps. There have been two gaps mainly. There is a gap in seed propagation. And another gap is off-taking, now the end process. So we asked ourselves, how can we help our farmers fill in the first gap of seed propagation? Instead of them buying seed that is extremely expensive and losing almost half of it. So we decided that we should start a propagation unit, which will help them maximize as much as possible on the seed that they buy. So we will be meeting Alex Munene, who is the operational manager. Come with me. Ah, Hi, Sita. Alex. Hi, Karibu sana. Asante sana. Yes, yes, yes. How are you? Fine, thank you. Uh, nice place to have you so, here. So beautiful. Yeah, it is. Uh -huh. Especially, you see, we do with seedlings. Yes. Uh, green is always beautiful. Uh -huh. yes, and yes. Moya is well known for rice. So uh, why seedlings? No, Maybe. actually people know Moya for rice. Yes. But behind the scenes, there's a lot of uh, tomato or hot culture farming here. So like we have most of the farmers do uh, tomatoes in hot culture based uh, uh, farming. So, and we distribute all over across uh, the region. This is Agitech Seedlings. Sure, sure. We are excited to be here mm -hmm. to learn more about seedlings, propagation, the varieties you have. Mm. But we want to have an overview. We want to have a feel of how all this started. Maybe you could give us just a brief. Uh, how Agitech started, actually I will start with the mother company, if you allow me. We have Mazao Nafia Limited, which started with 25 years back. So it deals with distribution of agrochemicals and farm inputs and fertilizer where we sell directly to farmers and also to other stockists across the Mount Kenya region. So uh, over the years doing the work or uh, uh, distribution of agrochemicals, we saw there is a need where now farmers need to do healthy seedlings because as much as we are doing the agro inputs uh, and then you don't have a healthy seeds, then there's nothing much for the farmers. You know we are coming from a place where farmers used to sow their seeds directly yeah, sure. on the farm. So when we talk about propagation, to help our audience understand what does it mean and what are the benefits of seed propagation? Well, there is a lot of benefits. If you go back to years, uh, how probably our even our uncles or our grandfather used to do, you buy seeds uh, uh, on the shop and then go to your farm and then propagate them. But you see what happens. In the soil, there's a lot of microorganisms, there's a lot of uh, diseases, there's a lot of bacteria. So the output of the seedling that you have when you do it on your own farm 
there's a lot of effects or you know, disadvantages that is going to affect that seed. And so the germination rate will be even up to out of 100, you see like a germination of 60%, and that is not a healthy seed. It's a seed that, seedling that when you plant it normally, it will have a lot of diseases and a lot of challenges, so meaning less input. So the seedling uh, based uh, 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 process is whereby you germinate the seedling or the seed using a conducive environment. As you see, there's a greenhouses here where there is uh, uh, away from diseases, the temperatures, and also the soil that you use, it is a unique soil that is literally with no uh, diseases, with no pests. So the whole uh, process of doing that is very healthy. So meaning you are going to have a very healthy city. Mazona Afia, uh, there's another company known as AgriPlace Center Limited. So Mazona Afia basically uh, distributes products from all other companies. We have so many distributors across the country. But now Mazona, uh, AgriPlace has also been a sister company that was started way back in 2016. Now Mazona Afia also had come, got into an industry where they have products with their own blood. And why? Not just a blood. We sourced for healthy, we sourced for good products, we sourced for products that will help the farmer realize good quality. We realize that there is a gap, that also farmers are not really exposed or they are not getting agrochemicals that are really helping their need. So we sourced products from outside the country, we, are, we, we, we import from Mexico, from Spain, from China, and all the products that we do with are quite, quite uh, relevant towards the farming. This is youth in agriculture Very true. and that is the reason we are here because we realized you're a youth Joan is also a youth sure, sure. is agriculture something you are passionate about from the word go is this what you grew up uh, wanting to be to do uh, if you talk about agriculture as much as it will not be even your hobby when you get to that industry, you actually realize that it is a very interesting uh, uh, industry. We have a lot of youths that are shying away from agriculture because probably our best curriculum in terms of how we learn from school, agriculture is basically taking a djembe and, and, and digging. But you see, agriculture is way, way broad. It, is a, it has a lot of uh, uh, interesting factors. Like you see where we are doing propagation of seeds, where we are having consultations with farmers, uh, I really didn't really, uh, really think about agriculture until I saw how agriculture probably won. Agriculture is the backbone of our country. So if you get into agriculture as a youth, you are using all your energy to really grow the country in a bigger view. So I would really urge youth to really come to this industry because it's a really interesting and it's also giving a lot of output. What is your profession? My profession is uh, I'm an accountant by profession, but I would say that by lifestyle I'm an agriculturist. <laughs> So is there any way you've been able to integrate your skills of course, as an accountant of course, to what of, you're doing? Of course. Now, whatever we are speaking about is about agriculture. But every company has the management part of it, where you deal with accounts, where you manage a lot of people, because we have quite a big workforce that you manage. So in terms of uh, finance, in terms of accounting and all that, it's a profession that has really also helped me to really integrate and also manage this kind of setup. So this is Mr. Mutinda, he is our production manager. He can tell you how he has done all this, how it has become and why this. Mutinda, yes. so I understand you're the brain or rather you're the person who ensures that you know everything that is going on here, uh, the varieties that we have here, whose order is ready, whose is coming in, why are the temperatures here so high? <laughs> it's because of uh, these crops, they need the temperature so that uh, even their growth can be accelerated. So you can find that a crop that normally takes four weeks, eh? it can take three weeks. So the, the, the high temperatures are good for the development, faster development of the crop. We also keep doing some uh, misting so that we can also have the humidity high. You can see like now you are sweating, eh? it means that now the humidity is low. So we'll do some misting and then you'll see now the temperatures will go down a little bit. So we need high, high humidity and high temperatures. The main uh, crops we are doing, uh, we have tomato. Tomato is the biggest. Actually, it's taking around 90% of the whole production. Then we have uh, capsicum. We have, uh, I think, the brassicas. These are skuma wiki, kels in general. We have uh, cabbages and we also have uh, spinach. And we also have the traditional indigenous uh, vegetables like the what we call the terere and also managu. We, we operate in two ways. A farmer can bring the seed himself or herself and we do the propagation or 
we propagate ourselves, then we sell to the farmers. So we work in two ways. We are open, you bring your seed, or we, we sell you our seed. So mainly that's the, 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 the mode of operation we are using. And uh, from when the farmer brings the seed, it goes to the sales department, whereby they receive the seed, and they do the necessary paperwork. And then from there, it is taken to the production team, whereby the real sowing is done according to the order given by the uh, sales team. So you need, first of all, you have the media, and uh, we, have, uh, we are using two media. We have uh, one we call Pitmos, and another one called Vermiculite. So it's like we mix both of them. So when we are doing the sowing using that media, we are assured of getting a very clean seedling. When we do the sowing, we just don't bring the seed the, the here. There is a room we call germination room, which has a controlled uh, humidity and uh, temperature, whereby we, we, the, that room ensures that uh, the seed germination, there are two things. First, the seed germination is quick, because normally you can find a seed that is done the traditional way. It can take 10 or even 15 days to germinate. But here, within this germination room, it can take three or four days to germinate. So you can see now the, the rate is accelerated also. And also, we have, we have what we call the uniform germination, whereby the seeds, they are coming up at the same time. So even when you are doing the growing, there will be no much uh, non-uniformity. The, like when you observe here, you can see that the seed is almost at the same stage. We have guys we, we call uh, agronomists. Their main uh, work, or what they are doing mainly, is advising the farmer, mostly on the technical aspects. These are things like uh, crop protection because of the pests and diseases, and also on the crop nutrition, whereby they are advising on which fertilizers to use at which stage. So we have ensured that in our fertilizer program, all the required uh, nutrients, all of them are captured in the program. The main vegetables we are doing, uh, tomato is the biggest vegetable. Then from there we have uh, uh, the cabbage, we have uh, this uh, capsicum, we are also doing some uh, spinach. I think I can say that those are the biggest ones. And we also do onions. Yeah, but as long as uh, the farmer can bring the seed, or what the farmer needs, we can also be able to propagate. Yes. All right, so I'm excited you will be taking us around the greenhouse just to show us some of the amazing varieties that we see. Uh, but before that, we are giving you a minute to take a glass of water, but don't go too far because we will be back in a short while. This is Youth in Agriculture, and my name is Susan Mwangi.